What's up? Tucson. Got one right here. We're going to get it out of this box. We're going to check it out, check it in, check it out, run it through its paces. And uh, this is, I got this one on Amazon, actually. This is an Amazon purchase, and it is a TS-342. And the reason I got it on Amazon is because that's the only place I could find it. And it's one that I wanted. And so, of course, I, I paid for it. This one cost me a couple of dollars. And I'm going to reveal that at the end of this video. Um, what I paid for it and whether I think it's worth it or not. So, I mean, it's got a little oil. But what a unique knife. And there's something special about this thing. And it's titanium and carbon fiber. And carbon fiber and titanium. Which, of course, that's that anodized titanium. And then on this side, oh, it's just what a, what a maze of coolness. So on this side, you got titanium, regular carbon fiber on the bottom, opposite of what you had on this side. And then on top, the bolsters, the anodized titanium, surrounded by the carbon fiber. The opposite of that. Man, I mean, surely the name of this knife's got to be opposite or something. Wow. Let me wipe off that oil that came in that shipping. It's not as much as I would normally see on the outside, so I don't know. Does, does Amazon wipe them off, or do they direct ship? I mean, the fact that it's got that label on it, I it took almost as long. I think it came a little quicker than if I won it on eBay. So... I don't know. I don't know how they do their process. Well, let's get in this thing. Oh, man. Yeah, so looking at it, I, I knew I wanted it. But now that I'm holding it and running it, man, I just... You know, sometimes you buy something and you just go, oh, yeah. And this is one of those purchases. Let's try that lock. See that action. Oh. Wonderful. Just dropped out. That blade shape, this knife. Let's try that top flipper. Yeah. Pretty, pretty nice. It is a Jelly Jerry Design D2 TS342. Wow. Let's get in it. I'm going to open it up. We'll check it in proper. And uh, no sense delaying the inevitable. Yeah, that wasn't super tight. And there's no Loctite on it. T6s, T6s the rest of the way. Yeah. Okay, no worries. I don't mind. I mean, there's some kind of stigma to having... Bigger hardware. I mean, I'm not balking at that. I get it. You know, if this had TH, I guess that'd be better. A TH, a bigger, more heavy-duty screw. But in the end, I think the shaft is pretty similar from one to the other, whether the head was TH or not. So I kind of I kind of settle down with all that. If it's T6, that's okay. It's not the end of the world. Bigger is better for sure. I don't know. I mean, I've lived in Texas, and uh, I get it. Bigger's better. Oh, I heard it. I didn't see it. A little piece of uh, titanium. It's been anodized. A little bolster. Light as a feather. It's pretty cool. Look at the carbon fiber surround, and that pops off. Wow, look at this. I mean, I mean, I've said it before on some other knives, Tucson knives particularly, get grief, or I get grief. I don't know if it's grief, but, you know, I guess I get eyes rolled at me or whatever when I talk about the engineering of a Tucson knife. 
<laughs> like some, for some reason, Tucson's not engineering their knives or because it's from China, it's, it's just put together in the back of somebody's garage or whatever. But, I mean, look at this piece of carbon fiber. Uh, how, how on earth do you not acknowledge the fact that that's some great millwork, man, on a piece of, of uh, carbon fiber? Look, they even had to relief it on the back here. I mean, I, I'm impressed. And as oily as it is, they've relief cut um, the scale. I want to get behind it, I believe. So, so kudos here. Look at this thing. If it was just in that carbon fiber with the one screw... I'd be clowning on it a little bit. I would. I'd say, eh, I'm not a fan of that. I mean, it's exactly what would come out of my mouth. I'm not a fan of that because, you know, through time, you're manipulating that pocket clip, which, you know, it can waller out in that in that carbon fiber or mark micarta or G10, and then your pocket clip is pivoting. And once it does that, there's kind of no fix. Like I heard one guy say, well, you can build that up with, you know, super glue or, you know, something. I don't know. Man, I'm not a body guy. I guess I could take it to a body shop and they could try to fix it for me or something. But, you know, once that's wallered out, you're done. Anyways, a long way around home to get to the fact that, come on, Tucson. I, I didn't, Jerry, Jelly Jerry, what's up, man? Because purposefully they push that clip back into that titanium scale. And so now the titanium is holding that pocket clip and not just, I'm sorry, man. I think I spent a long time just looking at it. I don't know where I left the knife for y'all, but, but they milled it into the titanium. So the titanium, that hard titanium is going to help hold that pocket clip in there. And it should never waller its way out of there i mean just kudos guy i don't you know i don't know if, if jelly jerry figured that deal and they executed it for him or if it was a collaboration man but credit to everybody involved for thinking that through it's such a small thing but the longevity of the knife if somebody puts it to work isn't at risk now i mean wow that's that's a good deal. And I mean, some may be watching now going, come on, man, take it easy. But I mean, I've, I've got hundreds of these knives from these guys. And I've witnessed the progression of the builds through the years. The progression of engineering and design work and execution. You know, quality control. And that that little detail right there. Man, that's a big deal. That is. It, it's worthy of me making an issue of it. And, I mean, surely they're not going to watch this video. Who am I? I mean, I'm small fish in a really big pond. Just out here loving knives and, and able to share that on my channel. But, man, I if they could hear that, I'd be... I'm so happy with that. Such a little thing, but... But yet, it's such a big thing. Anyways, I'll move on, man. I'll beat that. Beat that to death. Uh, where are we at? Yeah, I got distracted. They uh, got me enamored with a little bit of milling. How about it? Yeah, I was struck, smitten. Had my... Had my eyes diverted. All right, let's get this one. I'm going to make a marathon video just because I had to talk about that little milling for five minutes. Five whole minutes, man. It's like, dude. And you know, I if, uh, if you look at the watch times on my videos, which I don't really pay attention to that stuff much, but... I did look and uh, 
I was talking to another fella and the amount of time people actually stay tuned into a video is really small. And, uh, so good thing for me, I don't really care. I, I'm just doing my thing. Now I do, you know, I got enough people watching my videos now that I am conscious of the fact that, you know, there, there's some of y'all that, man, you've subscribed and, you know, when my stuff drops, you jump in, you watch you're interested. And so I don't want to make stupid videos and pontificate just to hear myself talk or whatever. Cause you know, nobody deserves to have to go through that. There we go. Oh, look at this. So uh, here, I, here I go again on my little rant, man. But look at the execution of this right here. I mean, how do you deny that? You can't deny this. Look at this. Now, this is this is just one that I am pleasantly surprised. I didn't know all this was going down in here. I did know that there were some opposite things going on, but I didn't know all this was happening. This uh, mill work and engineering that's going in here. And I mean, I know, listen... Some men, there's doubters and people that are going to watch us and just go, come on, man. But I'm impressed, man. I really am. I wonder if I can pop this out easy and, and get any oil that's behind it. I'm not going to try too hard on this thing, though. It might actually be glued in because there's no screws. But this screw would hold it, so. Oh, hey, look, they left me a little hole. To kind of push on it. I know that's not what it's for, but yeah, it's not moving, so I'm not gonna mess with it. All right, we're we're done. I'm gonna go ahead and put it back together. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna be true to this knife, man. I am impressed, and uh, you know, it's easy to go, eh, man. It's a gas station knife, or eh, man, it's a it's a Chinese knife, which somehow that's that implies something. I don't know what that implies, man. Uh, you know, I guess if, if you're paying attention, uh, the Chinese are making some knives right now. They're getting busy. And Tucson is, is joining the race, in my opinion. You know, um, I've got a couple of high-end Wii knives that I've picked up recently. And they'll be here on the channel. And are they... Are they amazing? Well, I think they are. Um, I think they're pretty solidly built. And they represent we pretty well. But, hmm. okay. What are these spacers? How are they working? Just like that. They're sitting down into and onto the back of that titanium there. Pretty cool. This screw, okay, we're good. Yeah, so, I mean, can somebody step and say that this isn't on par with the quality coming out of Wii? It's not them. I mean, somebody could make that argument, but to say that there's not engineering and quality millwork quality control and product control that's gone into this knife. I mean, that's just hating. That's all that is because this, this is obvious. I mean, it's obvious what's going on here. There's some incredible engineering for one. And... Let me get my bearings. Yeah, those two go on when we get together. Let's go ahead and get this going. Where? I see that it's a D-ring, but I'm confused now because I don't see where that's coming into play. It's not coming into play there. And it's not coming into play here. 
This is the only thing left. It's not coming into play there either. Hmm. Interesting. So it's a D pin, but there's no, there's nothing going on to take advantage of that. That's okay. Uh, is there a collar there? No. There's a collar here. Yes. Okay. Just make sure I don't want to put a bunch of work in it and have to back up. A little stop pin. Man, this thing, this thing's special. And so when I talk about availability and what I paid for it and how it's kind of a money pit, um, and then I'm going to talk about whether or not I think it's worth it. Don't be surprised by the number because I, I put I had to pay all the money to get it. This one, uh, this one dug deep into my pocket. It, it tested my will. How bad do you want it? And uh, I wanted it. I mean, I I looked for it at out on uh, AliExpress. I, I checked all the sources. I was looking. I was trying to chase it down, and uh, they had them on White Mountain for 119 bucks, and smashed them out of there. They sold them out, and I don't think they put a lot of effort into it. I think. I think uh, maybe word got out on this knife or something, but uh, they went quick. I say they went quick. I don't know how quick they went, but they weren't around when I wanted one. So I'm calling that quick. Yeah, wow. I mean, if you're into erector sets or, you know, putting things together, taking things apart, this would be a good knife for all that. This one would be a good one because it's got a lot of pieces and parts and intricate parts that go together in a certain way. And Okay. Pocket clip, and we'll call it good. That amazingly milled pocket clip into the carbon fiber and the titanium. And how do you mill that? I mean, think about that. How do you mill that? Like, do you mill it all at one time? Or do you mill the titanium separate from the carbon fiber? Do you put it together and mill it? I mean, I don't know. It's rhetorical questions because I do not know how you do that. Maybe somebody can put it in the comments. Just need to tighten all these little screws now. Get everything finaled. Check that blade. Solid as a rock. Feels a little tight on the action. I may loosen that a little bit. I think I might. And if I do, I might have to... No, uh, I think I had some room there. Oh, drop shut. All right, let's clear the station, get a towel, wipe it off, and we'll bring it home. I mean, this thing, this thing is wicked cool, wicked cool. Let's run that action a few times. What do we got? Get past the detent, little shake. That was kind of... Kind of a train wreck. It's a fairly big knife. Yeah, the action's the action's just wonderful, smooth, hydraulic. I want to check, make sure I don't have any play again. No, it's, it's, man, this thing's good. And I mean, I'm not hating on lefties, but I like to see when we're not. We don't have to put this double stud if you're not going to build the knife. To go both ways and this knife isn't built that way so I like seeing it just on one side like that I, I don't quite understand why we're doing both sides if we're not 
you know, outfit and the knife to do both. So, yeah, I like this. I like it a lot. All right. Um, grip. What do we got? So, that's probably the natural grip right there for a strong grip. I mean, it's comfortable in the hand. It's, it's, I got a firm grip, but of course, my position on this, this is not a self-defense knife because any type of resistance, no matter how you hold this knife, and you're going to get cut and out of commission. There's, there's no way to grip this hard enough. Or if this gets wet, if liquid gets on this, then you, man, you're a mess. And now you're a casualty. Um, and of course you don't want that. So to me, I don't foresee this as a, as a self-defense knife, but you know, it begs the question then, well, why would you ever put this in your pocket then? Because if you had to, you know, get to it, um, so, I, you know, I suppose it's it's like the argument of being armed or unarmed. I mean, it's better to be armed bad than to be unarmed. And so I'd make that argument. It's, it's a cool knife. I mean, I wouldn't mind having this in my pocket at certain times. It's not a summer shorts knife to me. It's kind of big for that. But definitely a pair of jeans. And uh, that would go in my back pocket. So speaking of that, let's check that clip. I think it's going to run just fine looking at it, but we're about to find out. Yeah. I mean, had a little resistance getting over the hump there, and it's a little narrow, so it's kind of binding right here, but yeah, there's no issues there. In and out. That's a good pocket. And if I move to more normal material, it's going to run like a dream. Yeah. So the pocket clips, pocket clips worthy been designed properly it functions well it runs well no issues um price and availability so it is still available on amazon that's the only place that i know you can buy it i when i looked at uh um alley i, I didn't find it there it's gone and i did not white mountain shows it out of stock they had it at $119, so with a discount, you could pick it up for about $109, basically. I paid off of Amazon. The Amazon price is $135. I know. <laughs> I overpaid for it. I'm that guy that bought it. But I don't think I'm the only guy that bought one. But, but yeah, I allowed them to charge that much for D2. Uh, some titanium and carbon fiber. <laughs> but I had to have it in my collection. And I didn't want to miss it. And then it, it the run goes away. And I don't have an opportunity to put it in. It's unique enough with the opposite nature of it. That I had to have one. So I paid the money. <laughs> but it's a money pit. Uh, is it worth the money? I'm going to say... From a actual value, actual cash value perspective, probably not. I mean, I think the answer is not. Nah, it's not worth that. But is it worth it to me to have it in my collection? Would it be worth it? Like if you looked at that knife and went, man. I, you know, I just, I love that shape. I love the look of that knife. Now I'll throw the caveat. If, if you're thinking of putting this in your pocket and it's a self-defense knife, I mean, I strongly caution you got good jimping here that bites. So you can get, dig your thumb in and this relief for the backspacer or for the lock bar does provide somewhat of a bump that you can lock into there and there. But it ain't enough to keep you from ending up a casualty. So if if you're looking at it, you think, man, I just love it. Is it worth $135? I still say material-wise, yeah, no, it's not. That's a over, it's a that is an inflated price for this knife. But as a collector, that I've got a hole in a case that that's made for this knife. 
Yeah, I'm going to pay that and get it. Does it cut? I'll let you out of this. All right, that's kind of disappointing. So I'm going to pause the video and strop it, and then I'll come back, make it cut, and then we'll go. Okay, I'm not going to put a lot of time into it, but this is all I used for this knife. I didn't put it on my belt, my uh, Ken Onion belt machine. Um, I didn't do anything fancy. I do put a little bit of uh, resin on this, and uh, all I did was a couple of strokes like this. I did probably five or six per side. And uh, because there was enough burr going on there that I really truly wanted to get rid of it. And uh, so I put a couple of those on it. That's all That's all I used. It's got a rough side here and a, and a fine side here. And I use them both. Let's see what we did. Yeah. Completely changed the knife just by running it on a strop a little bit. And... Uh, I've seen where uh, people say that, you know, there's a technique to that and you got to do it right. And, uh, man, I'm sure that's all true. I just try to match up that angle and then one way and then the other way. That's all I do. I'm just matching up that angle the best I can and then try to have some consistency through a couple of passes. I don't put a lot of down pressure in it. And, man, that's all I do to it. Uh, you saw the, the obvious difference between this knife before I did it and after I did that. It just had, it has a couple of micro burrs on it, which hangs it up in that, in that phone book paper. Would it cut thicker paper? Probably with ease. And would it shave hair off an arm? Probably. But, anyways, I'll let you out of this. So, this is the TS-342 in D2 from Amazon and I'm trying to think but this is not an next day purchase this took like this came this took a while a couple of weeks at least so anyways appreciate you watching